did Trump come up with the numbers for the new reciprocal tariffs? In our last video, we explained what a tariff is. It's a tax paid on something that's imported. A tariff is distinct from a trade surplus or deficit. So every country has what's called a balance of trade. It's the difference between the monetary value of that country's exports and its imports over a given period of time. So if you export more than you import, you have a trade surplus or a positive trade balance. If you import more than you export, you have a trade deficit or a negative trade balance. As of last year, the U.S.'s trade deficit was something like a trillion dollars. So when calculating the effective tariffs currently levied by other countries against the U.S., instead of using the actual tariff rate, we used a formula based on the U.S.'s trade deficit with respect to that country. And the formula was this. Take the total amount that the U.S. imports from a given country. Again, we'll call it Genovia. Let's say that's $200. Now subtract the total amount that the U.S. exports to Genovia. Let's say that's $100. So the difference is $200 minus $100, or $100. So as we just said, that's the U.S.'s trade deficit with respect to Genovia. Now we're going to divide that difference, our trade deficit, by the total amount of goods we import from Genovia. Again, in this case, $200. $100 divided by $200 is 50%. So Trump is saying that the effective tariffs imposed by Genovia on the U.S. are 50%. Now, the way that the reciprocal tariffs are calculated is to take that effective tariff rate, divide it by two, and round up. So if Genovia had been on the list when this was announced this week, the new tariffs in place on goods imported from Genovia would be 50% divided by two, or 25%. Now, for all we know, the actual tariff on U.S. goods in Genovia might be 1%. Most actual tariff rates are much lower than this effective tariff rate you come up with by using this formula. That's because the U.S. is a very consumer-based, not manufacturing-based country. Hence, the reciprocal tariffs now being enacted may seem extreme in many of these cases. So in our next video, we're going to explain what these new tariffs mean for the U.S. dollar, why it's getting crushed, what's happening in the markets, and what may happen next.